So this is the cable we pulled off the bracket. This went over to the, as you can see, over to our alternator. That one as well. This one was so bad we had to cut it. Okay, we're coming out of the bracket here. And all right, so here you can see it's a ground cable. It just came out of this bracket here. And what happens is that it corrodes up in here. We'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, so you can clearly see on the ground wire how it's eaten all the way through your insulation based upon these ridges here in this piece. Looks like the positive wire is okay. But where we really found a lot of problems was on the bottom where it came down and routed below the engine block. Here you can see the scoring. Here you can see the scoring too, a couple feet later. So that's where we were, this is where we are. And you can see the positive wire is exposed and we'll clean this up to show you just how much is cut in but if you look right here that's what's left of the wiring so you probably have about a 30 percent reduction in capacity plus if these two wires here on the bottom of the engine block where there's a lot of road wa uh, water coming up from the road contamination from oil those two are obviously arcing, sending bad, uh, bad signals to the ECM. Here's the other one that was on the other side of the engine block here. There again, it's completely cut through. And we didn't do anything at all to this when we pulled it off. You can see right here though, just how deep the cuts are. I mean, that's, that's all the way through. So if these two pieces are this far apart, a little bit of water right there. And you got a serious short problem. You come back up here a little further. This is on the uh, part where it connects up to the starter. Okay. So there's your starter ground. And here we are maybe eight inches away from it. Right here. Let's see how much is cutting the insulation. I'll clean that up and get you some pictures. Same thing on the uh, positive side. That's the positive wire there. It looks like it escaped most of the damage there, but it's never good to have uninsulated wire. And so this is corrosion right here. Drop of lighting on it. This is an overview of the cable for the alternator coming back. We're going to the starter from a 2004 Coronado. See breaks the insulation there, cleaned it up, a lot of the corrosion, some more breaks, and here's where it gets really interesting right here, come a few feet down, here's another one, overview right there there's the cable so out of eight feet you had six breaks in it might be a reason for the voltage drop here's your negative cable ground cable that comes from the alternator back over to the starter or from the alternator to the starter start of the alternator have you want to look at it and here we go that's at the starter six inches down you got a break further breaks in the insulation as you can see a little further same thing a little further same thing and up pan down there you go it gets worse down here and here 